I just want to start the show by bringing up something that Facebook reminded me of. Um, it just let me know that, like, this time, like, almost ten years ago, we we went out on the, t- the town in Fargo, and we had a little too much whiskey, and it, it was at my expense, apparently. And I, <laughs> I, I was just wanted to share that with the world before we dove into, you know, some sobering news that, you know, every DC fan got. Because they're kind of doing a rug pull on us, Matt, but... Really, the, the the one who's the most affected by this news is Dwayne Johnson, who you correctly uh, diagnosed as a bullshit artist number one coming out of the, the Warner Brothers Discovery realm. What can you tell us about the latest, you know, you from James Gunn's, act, you know, you, you takeover process? Yeah, so um, apparently James Gunn is writing a Superman film that is going to star a younger Superman. Henry Cavill is not involved. And not only that, Henry Cavill is just not going to play Superman at all now. <laughs> like, not in any movie, not in James Gunn's movie, not in Man of Steel 2, nothing. And he's going to go off and make a Warhammer show or something like that. Fuck yeah, so... <laughs> I am not upset about that. If ever there yeah, was... It's a, good, yeah. it's a good trade. I mean, he, uh, he had to do something because I think he kind of... You know, he quit The Witcher and because he thought he was going to be Superman again, and now he's not going to be Superman again. So he has to do something. And not only that, but um, apparently The Rock has been lying about how much money Black Adam has been making, about how successful oh, really? it's been. Yeah. Okay. And so he, um, people are thinking now, there, there was this document that leaked to the press um, that showed a bunch of Black Adam's like financial numbers. Yeah. And apparently that document was leaked by his like team of PR people or and managers. And the actual document has different numbers than the one that was leaked. And oh, so that's they problematic. Basically, yeah, they basically took like white out and like white out a bunch of stuff and put in like more successful numbers. And so yeah, what as it turns out, Black Adam uh, needs about fifty to a hundred million more dollars than it currently has to even break even. And um, yeah, it's just I kind of called this two months ago, and I'd encourage people to go back and watch that mini sode that I recorded. It's called "The Rock Is a Megalomaniac." That's that's on our channel. Um, and I don't know. I just. I, my bullshit meter was off the charts then and now it's like the <laughs> shell is really starting to crack and we're seeing kind of like what this guy like who he truly is you know and i don't know I, he he apparently wants to be a politician and so you know you got that down i think like exactly you got you got you, the role you just you, you just say what you want to be true enough times and eventually it's true just ask donald trump how that's going for him but we're not, yeah. we stay away from politics as much as we can for that reason. But this dude, yeah, he really had this outsized sense of what a movie star could be, I guess. Like, Tom Cruise is grandfathered in. You know, you know Tom Hanks is grandfathered in as far as, like, the, the cachet that they have within the industry itself. And for some reason, The Rock was assuming that he was going to be the first hybrid movie star executive you know, who is going to be able to make company wide, you know, your creative decisions and everyone was just have to go along with it. Like they went along with him in getting Henry Cavill on there, even though they knew deep down that they were like, they hadn't even, like, they knew it deep down. They had already committed themselves to not being in the Henry Cavill business to begin with. And then he just drug him back into the conversation and gave the poor boy false hope. Also, that Black Adam could have a really lame entry point into something greater than the movie that they made. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it, I, I'm not too surprised that you wound up being so right you know, about this. It's just so funny to me that the man is being humbled this much. Because, yeah. you know, where is he going to go now? Because he, he apparently, like, unsubscribed from uh, D- uh, Warner Brothers Discovery and from like DC and like Black Adam <laughs> on like you know Twitter, Instagram, whatever. So he is like fully out as far as like the the, the Rock's not giving any energy to this now. You know, like that's just kind of where that is is going because 
James Gunn is going to be giving us something bespoke, and it, it, the Snyderverse does not fit in it anymore. So why should anyone give a shit about any of the other like Snyderverse era movies we're getting, like The Flash and Aquaman three? They already spiked Wonder Woman three. So where do you see all of this going? Well, I mean, it's good. You know, at least we have an idea of how James Gunn is as an executive now because, you know, he's not afraid to to cross, you know, just piss off the rock apparently because he literally just was like, nope, we're not doing that. This is what I'm doing. He put a tweet out there that was like, I'm making a young Superman movie. This is what's going to happen. And yeah, I mean, it, it gives me faith for his ability to be an executive. Yeah. And so I think, I think this is the correct decision. This is the right thing to do is to just scrap everything except for the Matt Reeves Batman stuff and the Todd Phillips Joker yeah. and start start over. Like, and because the starting over apparently does involve an openness to having forgive me, Henry Cavill in the, the program in some way, having him still be in the stable, just not as Superman. I heard mm -hmm. some rumor that they were just going to plug him in and have him be Lobo. Oh, that's uh, Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa, that's who they're going to have yeah. be Lobo? That makes more sense. That's who they want. That's yeah, who they, that, that so makes a lot of they, sense. they are that serious about hitting the reset button that they would recast actors that had been in roles of a much higher stature. You know, into the B list that James Gunn is more interested in working with. It would seem it's yeah, interesting. It's, okay, it is. It is. Yeah, because they, yeah, I mean, they're they're hitting the reset button. I think like full stop. And so, um, I guess we'll we'll find out kind of what happens with Flash and Aquaman here because they're sort of in limbo even more so than they were before. And so, yeah, very excited to see where this goes. Right on, brother. Mm -hmm. But as we, as per usual, you know, Henry Cavill can't catch a break, but maybe they'll let him make like an Eisenhorn series or something <laughs> along those lines. 